All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's go. It's the great Randy Reed, baby. Only here to help high schoolers and teenagers get the job. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own professional resume, and then I'm going to show you exactly what to write on that resume. All right, let's get into it. Let's take it to the screen. This is how a resume look. And basically a resume is a type document that has your contact information, which would be right here, your objective, your job goal right here, work experience, education information, skills, and references. I'm going to show you how I got here and how you can create your own. Let's go. First thing, we want to go to Microsoft Office. We want to click on Microsoft Office Word and after we got Microsoft Office Word loaded, we want to go to New. Let's click on New. And in the search bar right here, we want to type in resume. Now, when we type in resume, it's going to show us a lot of other resumes. But the best resume for you all would be the chronological resume. And we just want to click on the or use the template that just says chronological resume, which is this one right here. So left click on that one two times, and then it's going to automatically open up. Now you can see the template that I use to create my own resume. Now what I want to do next is put this side by side. Now as you can see from the sample template resume, it tells us everything we need to know. Objective. Objective. It tells us to get started right away, just tap on the placeholder, the text, and start typing. Really simple. Left click and just start typing. And that's exactly what I did over here. Now, the only thing you notice when I did that is that there's a bullet point here and I don't have one over here. So I wanna show you how I got those bullet points because those really highlight our resume and make it stand out so we insert those bullet points. So it's quick and easy. Let's go to paragraph in this area you want to look right up here in the upper left where it says bullet. Click on that down arrow and select the bullet point icon. And then, of course, you could just type in your objective. And after that, if you would like to type in more, you could uh, hit enter and then it automatically insert, inserts the next bullet point. Next, the experience. It tells us we want the company name, the location, the dates that you actually worked when you started, and then the end date. And then also it tells us this is a place for a brief summary of your key responsibilities and accomplishments. So over to my resume, as you can see, that's what I did, the company I worked for, the city and the state, the dates I worked there, and then just a brief summary of what I did there. And then you look down, this was my second job around 16, 17 years old. Did the same thing. Education is very simple. Your school name, your location, your degree. If you have a high GPA, you might want to include that. Or also, if you have any awards or honors, include that in that area. As you can see, I put on there the high school I went to, the city and state, the location, and I also would recommend putting the expected graduation date on your education. It just gives the hiring manager an idea of when you're graduating. And it's good for them to know that. Next, you see they have communication, communications. But what I did, I actually switched out communication for skills. And I would recommend you doing the same because we can list communication up under one of our skills, which is very important to most companies. Skills, if you probably had a job before, I'm sure you got some type of customer service. 
communication is a good skill to list. And also Microsoft Office program, Word, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Outlook. Those are things you can list down here for your skills. Lastly, the references, which is over here, is just contact information of people that will say good things about you, such as in your situation could be your teacher or it could be a coach, but honestly, you're really not going to need any references right now. All right, it's that simple. So now you know how to create your own professional resume, but let me say this, if you never had a job before, don't worry about creating a resume because the job or the company is really not expecting you to have a resume if you've never had a job before because your work experience is like the most important thing that they're looking for. So no worries. It's the great Randy Reed, baby. Only here to help high schoolers and teenagers get the job. If this video helped you out, subscribe to the channel and follow the great Randy Reed on Instagram.